Hey lovers, I am back with another tutorial. This is one of my current favorite dress up, dress down to wear. I love these pearl clips. It's great for bridal and a simple day out. You've seen Lily worn in a lot of her new video as well as her Instagram. It's really up to you to style it. I made so many of these that I'll be giving away a full set of five to two lucky winners. So keep watching to learn how to make them or how to win them. If you haven't watched my last DIY, I've added it to the recommended list at the top right hand corner. Click on it, enjoy, or just keep watching this video. I'm pretty sure I've also linked it at the end. Everything was purchased on Amazon as well as Michael Art and Craft Store. I'll link where I got this stuff down below. Once again, this video will only make sense if you've already watched my Karen Wolf Inspire Bridal Crown tutorial. It would make it, well, easier to understand. I am once again using the clear fishing line invisible thread. They are durable but a bit hard to work with. The pearl I choose are in the size of 8mm to 35mm. For more info, click on the read more in the description. This way you can understand what size I use for all of these strands of pre-made pearls. For the biggest hair clip, I am using three different size pearls. The first biggest size being 35mm, the second being 25mm, and the third being 20mm. This is how it looked like once I string them all together. It's quite simple. After string them together, I just loop the main smallest pearl onto this whole area and I kind of tighten it down that way. After I feel that this is already tight, I would use the same method as the crown and wrap the pearl in between the hair clip I would say three to four times just to really tighten it up and I would then knot it at the end it's pretty simple it's really up to you and how tight you want to knot it for me the tighter you do knot it the closer the pearl um, I guess sit onto the hair clip but this is how it looked like when it's done I went on ahead and made another one so now this is a full set if you have it in a set then you can wear on both sides of your hair which is really cute moving on to the second um, design this design the smallest size pearl is 12 14 18 and 20 millimeter and I am now once again going to sew this onto the hair clip and this is how it would look like when it's fully done and in my opinion this is one of my favorite look it blends the best and it fits in your hair beautifully and we would once again have to knot the first knot where the holes are and you want to make sure you knot it well so do it once or twice and then start the wrap process Another method on making sure the pearls stay on is you want to loop after you wrap to the next pearl. So go through the hole again one more time. This way you have a tighter or closer fit from the pearl to the hair clip. Before moving on to the next pearl, I make sure I wrap two to three times since they are quite small in pearl size. And then I would once again push the needle through to the next pearl. To this step will continue to repeat till you get to the end of this hair clip. Now going toward the end, um, since everything has been repeated, you want to really take your time on knotting this last pearl to the hair clip. After you are done or satisfied or the pearl feels really tight, it doesn't move around the clip anymore, you can go ahead and click off the excess in string and it's ready to be used. For this particular clip, I only use two different types of pearl, one in size 18, the other in 20. So the 3 and the 2 size are 18, and the one in the middle is 20. As you see, the biggest size in the middle is going down smaller and smaller. 
I'm now going to sew this strand of bead onto the hair clip. This is very similar to the last clip. I'm going to kind of show you the difference between the two. The first one on top is what I just showed you to make. The one below is the one that I showed you how to make before. As you can see, both versions look amazing. In the next hair clip, you'll need three different size pearls, the smallest being 10, the second two pearl to the smallest pearl is 12 and then the three in the middle is 14 and obviously you don't even need the 10 millimeter pearl at the end because it will look fine without the super small pearl but you know for me I like that longer curve it looks fancier when you put it onto the hair so yeah that's just preference you can take away those two smallest pearl for pearls of these size or 80 millimeter or shorter you don't have to wrap it around too many times once is already good enough especially when you're gonna go back in them with the needle to help tighten them to the clear clip a matter of fact you don't even need to go backward into them through the needle it's really up to you and what time you have right now I'm just going to get lazy and wrap this onto the hair clip it honestly will stay on just fine I have even accidentally tossed them into the wash and they survived the wash so I'm telling you one or two wrap around with these smaller pearls will help it stay in place as we get to the end you do want to make sure this have a great flat lay so do go through the bead um, you know that's my recommendation do go through just help it from shifting and then not at the end and you're done so another product that looked kind of like this is this next hair clip this next hair clip i'm only using two different sizes, and that's 12 and 14 as you can see um, it looks almost like the same size but they aren't I hope you had a lot of fun watching how to make these. Honestly, the choice of how big or how small is up to you. You can experiment. I'm using the longest size of hair clip. If you use shorter hair clip, obviously, the sizing of the pearl should also reflect. I want you to make this your own. And in order to win these products, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The giveaway is actually going on on Instagram right now and ending in a week. So follow the rules and guideline over there if you like this video and recreate these product don't forget to relink me in your video or or tag me in your photos because i would love to see how it looks on you also for more diy and great video to come don't forget to subscribe i'm next going to show you how there will be so many more diy to come Here's a few DIY video that will be happening in the future as well as here are the videos that you may have missed and not watched yet. So don't forget to check those out. Just click on the little square and it'll take you there.